Hi everyone, welcome to this module on file storage service snapshots. This is a really quick uh, module where we talk about uh, snapshots. Snapshots provide a read-only space efficient point-in-time backup of a file system. Snapshots are created under the root folder of file system in a hidden directory named dot snapshot and we'll actually see this in our uh, demo. So how you create snapshots using the console it's really simple. You can uh, come to your file system and just hit create snapshot and you would be able to create one. And now when you go to your CD to this snapshot hidden directory uh, in your in your uh, in your file system, you could access and see all the snapshots there. Now uh, you can take up to 10,000 snapshots per file system. And I believe this is a soft limit you can you can even increase. You can restore a file within the snapshot or an entire directory using the cp or rsync command. So as it's shown here, you could run a command like this, copy snapshot, these snapshots are stored in this snapshot directory as we said, right? And the names are something like snapshot underscore name, um, and then you will have like a date or something unique identifier, or you could change, provide your own custom value there. And then you could say the destination directory name. So if you have a lot of files and people are writing and reading and changing stuff, and you want to just take a snapshot, in many files you could just do the restoration using a command like uh, like like this here if nothing has changed within the target file system and you take a snapshot it does not consume any additional storage right so it has a pointer and uh, it's uh, you know it keeps track of what has changed if you regularly keep taking snapshots and there is no change uh, it does not consume uh, additional storage so you because you pay for that storage so it's not like you are uh, constantly uh, paying for additional storage. So let me uh, go here and show you how the snapshot functionality works. So if I go to my file system, right here, we looked into export paths and export options and all that. If I click on snapshot, right, I can see there is no snapshot here. So I can create a snapshot. And right here, it's giving me, a, you know, uh, uh, it's giving me a uh, 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 default name but i can change that right so i can call i can call this uh, snapshot one and hit create here right and my snapshot would be created i just have one file in my file system so it would create a snapshot uh, of the of the of, of that file if i had a directory with multiple file systems uh, with multiple files it would actually create a snapshot for all of them right and you can see it's active so if i go to my uh, uh, my uh, uh, nfs clients I have two running here in the previous demos, FSS1 and FSS2. And if I uh, CD to the snapshot directory, I can see my snapshot one here, right? And if I if I uh, CD to the snapshot one directory, I can see my uh, file is available here, right? And if I go from the client two, let's go ahead and create another uh, another file here. This is my second client. And there you go, right? We created another another file. If I go to my snapshot one now, you would see that it's still one file, right? Because I took a snapshot. Snapshot is nothing but point in time backup, right? Now I added another file after that. So I'll, of course I'll have to create another another snapshot if I want to uh, if I want to have that file which we just created be available here, right? So I create my snapshot too, and if I go from my second uh, uh, client, if I access the snapshot directory now, I can see that I have the snapshot to directory created, right? And if I click to snapshot to directory, I can see that I have my file to created uh, available here, right? So really straightforward, uh, nothing complex. Uh, you can do 10,000 snapshots uh, per file system. And this is how you create snapshots. I'm using console. Otherwise you can use it through, through CLI or whatnot, right? And if you have to restore these files, you can run a command like copy and you could copy everything in that snapshot directory uh, with different snapshots and you could get get, get to a like a destination uh, directory so uh, thank you for watching this uh, module I, I hope you found it useful uh, and thank you for watching this lecture series on file storage service